Dear students, in this lecture, we shall learn how we can use logarithmic functions to assess the growth rates. Let's take an example. Now, we are talking about the GNP and how it, uh, its growth takes place. So, we are given a numerical value. We are going to use them and uh, not just one value, rather many values are given and we shall use them to get the uh, meaningful interpretation out of it. Now, let's see the data we have. As you can see in this case, the GNP of China in 1990 is given and it is as follows, right? And now we are also given the growth rate of the GNP of China and that is 0 0.02, that is 2%. And the same set of values is given for U.S. and in the, at the same point in time. Now, we have this data and uh, an interesting economic application would be to check if the convergence takes place or if the convergence takes place, how much of the time will be required. Now, by convergence, definitely you mean when the uh, GNPs of the two countries will coincide, will become equal. So this is what we are trying to do here. Now, in, in other words, what we are trying to say is that uh, if we are having this assumption that they are increasing exponentially, the GNPs of both countries, uh, how much of that time will be required uh, for the GNPs of the two nations to become the same? That is GNP of China is equal to GNP of US. So this is this converging point that we can find using uh, logarithmic functions. On this slide, you can see a little bit of information is summarized. Now we are assuming that required time equal to small t. As you can see, after 1990, there is a certain time which is required to achieve that convergence. The convergence here is that GNP of China should be equal to GNP of US. And the assumption is, as we have already mentioned, that there is continuous exponential growth. Now, using this equation that we just established, we can put the values. And we know that if we consider China, which is here, and if we consider US, which is here, these are the standard forms after putting their values. This is the level of GNP of China during the first year of analysis, that is 1990. And this is the growth rate that we were given, 0 0.02, that is 2%, and T is required. Now, on the other hand side, we have US, and this is the initial GNP of US, and this is the growth rate of US GNP. And the value of T is to be found. For that, we can do a few calculations, which are very easy. And this is simple jugglery between the right-hand side and left-hand side of the equations. Here you can see after a little bit of uh, cross-multiplication, we have obtained this expression, which shows that we have to take the log of this value, which is the ratio of the two GNPs. And this is the reciprocal of the differences of the growth rates. And after simplifying these values, we have 22. So this 22 now should be interpreted and it's easy to interpret because this is what we were looking for. We were looking for that time period which would actually achieve the convergence between the GNP of China and US. It will take 22 years after 1990 for the GNPs of China and US to become equal. 